Not only am I gonna review an older movie for you guys, but I'm gonna review one of my favorite movies, as in like, ever. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I know what some of you are thinking right now. You're like, wait, Terminator 2? Where's Terminator 1? I wanted to go straight for the throat on this one. I wanted to review one of my favorite movies of all time. But I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Here's a bit of the backstory. In Terminator lore, on August 29th, 1997, the machines we created became self-aware and they pretty much wipe out mankind. Uh, yeah. That didn't quite happen, but you know. From that point to the year 2029, mankind's been locked in a war with the machines. The leader of this resistance is a man named John Connor, and he actually leads mankind to victory. So in Terminator 1, the machines send a machine back in time to kill Sarah Connor. Yeah, no Sarah Connor means no John Connor means the machines win. And now we reach Terminator 2. The machines kind of had a failsafe. They actually sent two Terminators back through time, one back to the 80s to take out Sarah Connor, the other to the 90s to take out John Connor. But don't worry, we humans were smart and we have a plan. John Connor from the future reprograms the Terminator to protect him as a child in the 90s. Now we have our movie and it's awesome. There's so much I like about Terminator 2. One, it's exciting as hell. In the first movie, you have a soldier who's protecting Sarah Connor from a Terminator. So the can't really scrap in that movie. A hand-to-hand -hand fight will be like Terminator going boom. Dun, 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 dun. Well, there's his head. Uh, he's dead. I win. But in Terminator 2, you have Arnold Schwarzenegger, a T-800 machine. Same model that's in Terminator 1. And you have Robert Patrick playing the T-1000. So you can have them throw each other through walls and they're not going to die from it. You're just going to be absurdly entertained by it. And as for the T-1000, the T-1000 in Terminator 2 remains one of the deadliest bastards ever put in a movie. This guy was just death incarnate and he was revolutionary for the time. He's made completely out of liquid metal so he can change his appearance. He can look like anyone. He can turn his arms into knives and stabbing weapons. I know that is common now. You're like, I've seen that before. But in 1991, that was absurd. That hadn't been done before. After you watch Terminator 2 Judgment Day, T-1000 is in your mind. You go to anyone, you're like, oh, iconic T-1000 moment. They're like, I have to pick one. There's a scene where he gets frozen in liquid nitrogen. He's walking towards John Connor and he's just like not stopping, but he's slowly freezing. And Arnold's all like, hasta la vista, baby. That's like a staple cinema moment right there. And what the T-1000 does in Terminator 2 remains to this day the coolest stuff any liquid metal being has ever done in a movie. And the excitement in this movie never stops. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger and T-1000 fight in a mall. Then T-1000 chases John Connor on foot. Then he gets in a semi and he's going after John Connor on his little motorcycle. Then Arnold's pursuing the semi on his motorcycle trying to get to John Connor. That's just one of the many action sequences in Terminator 2 that are just like, dude, that's just the best. And above it being exciting and having this revolutionary T-1000 character, the human characters themselves are deeper. In Terminator 1, Kyle Reese, the soldier who's protecting Sarah Connor, kind of burdened her with knowledge and let her know that the human race is going to be incinerated and machines are going to take over the world. And she let that slip to a few people, now people think she's crazy. So she's in a mental institution, and she is not the Sarah Connor from Terminator 1. T1, she's Susie Homemaker, she's a waitress, she's like, oh, I'm no one special. Now for the past decade, she's been training, doing push-ups, becoming all hardcore. She's actually quite the badass in Terminator 2. She's not Susie Homemaker, she's Susie kill you with my pinky. She's nuts, man. And in the world of Terminator 2 being a little deeper than you think it might be, there's a scene where Sarah Connor learns about the guy who's going to ultimately cause Judgment Day. So she goes on a quest to wipe this guy out. I mean, why not? She kills him. She changes the future. The robots never take over. At that point, she's a Terminator to this guy. She might not be a machine like the other Terminators, but she's on a quest to kill someone to change the future. I just, I like that little detail. And to any and all you girls out there who are like, yeah, Terminator 2, I don't know. It's just a sky movie. It's a sky movie. Here's a story, true story. I knew this girl who said the same thing. She was like, I have no interest in Terminator 2. It's a guy movie. What would I like about it? I loaned her my copy. I was like, watch it. I will bet you that you will love it. Not only will you love it, you might even cry at the end. I still, dude, man tears at the end. Seriously. She returned it. She was like, oh my God, it was so good. It's just, you were just right. It was so good. Yeah, I don't mess around about that shit. Terminator 2 Judgment Day ends Terminator lore for me. The Terminator saga is Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. After that, nothing is canon. It'll be light entertainment at best, but in the end, it ends at Terminator 2. And in Terminator 2 being one of my favorite movies of all time, if I were to make a top 10 list, it has to be on there somewhere. Terminator 2 Judgment Day is awesome-tacular. <laughs> If someone had a gun to my head and was like, best Cameron movie ever, you have to say one, I'd be like, oh, T2, definitely. And I'm pretty sure I would live through the situation. So your favorite Terminator movie out there, you gotta have one. What is it? Comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. Hasta la vista, baby.